few locations still dealing with some frosty temperatures as we head through the overnight hours and it looks like some freeze concerns will be in place over southern Oregon and the Central Valley as we head into early Friday morning. Overall dry and windy though with some critical fire weather conditions popping up again today. Temperatures in Seattle and Spokane in the mid to upper 60s. Missoula as well. A little warmer in Redding at 83 but definitely cooler than it was. Then we had some record heat along the front range. Cheyenne up to 90 yesterday and that's where temperatures were 16 degrees above average but through the Willamette Valley and it were from 5 to nearly 15 degrees below average. There's your freeze warning and again this is going to go into effect here through at least early Friday morning where temperatures tonight again could be dropping down into the 20s in some locations uh, just east of Medford, Missoula down to 36 and 35 in Jackson. So again there's your freeze warning. We have uh, red flag warnings for those inland spots even through the Sierra Nevada range where critical fire weather concerns will be in place today. Uh, the wind is an issue. Of course the trough of low pressure to the north and west and that uh, area of high pressure to the south and east is tightening up the pressure gradient. So in this particular zone we have strong gusty winds. Casper 40 mile per hour winds. 21 there in Salt Lake. Again many spots definitely breezy. Could see some spotty thunderstorms as you head off to the far north and east today and tomorrow. Saturday is looking a little bit better but along the uh, of course uh, frontal boundary there we have some heavier rain and also some rain up into the Seattle region through the next few days.